Hello baseball fans, this is Brett Tucker. Welcome to this edition of Lance Berkman's Hitting From All Angles. In this video, Lance explains his thoughts on what he calls the second thing of hitting, how to properly grip the baseball bat. Let's listen to my conversation with Lance. The, 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 the way they used to teach it is you want to line up your what they call your knocking knuckles. So it's these knuckles and what they mean by knocking is, like if I go to knock on a door, that's these are the knuckles that I would use to knock on the door. So you want to line those up and have the bat resting in your fingers as opposed to what I call an over-rotated grip. And you see a lot of kids nowadays that take this sort of a grip where instead of having the bat in their fingers and the knocking knuckles lined up, they have their top hand or their bottom hand rotated where you've now got you know, the, your knocking knuckles lined up with your, the knuckles where your fingers connect to your hand. So I call this like an over-rotated grip and you see immediately it creates tension. The bat's back in the fingers it creates tension and I don't like it. So there's a number of reasons why I like this grip with the bat in your fingers and the knocking knuckles lined up. Number one is the relaxation. So when I hit, like I almost had about seven of the 10 fingers in contact with the bat. Like I was trying to be as loose as I could with my hands and this index finger a lot of times is up off the bat. You know, I've really got it with these three fingers and then this is an index finger and then this pinky. So it's just, there's, it's a very relaxed grip and there's a lot of, you know, obviously pressure and tension when you're going into an at bat and you're trying to, you know, to, to hit. And so I believe in trying to be as relaxed as you possibly can. And it starts with the grip. So if I have a nice relaxed grip, that's one advantage of lining up those knuckles. The second thing that I like about it is it enables you to generate some what I call bat lag. So as the bat's coming through, you see how the barrel is well behind my hands. And then at the last second, when that barrel releases, that's when you can generate even that little extra bit of bat speed that's gonna help you, you know, with your, with carry and with being able to hit the ball harder and, and that sort of thing. So, you know, it's, I always tell people, it's like, if you have a hammer, if I give you a hammer and tell you, hey, I want you, I want you to hammer a nail, nobody grabs the hammer like this with the hammer back in their in their palm. You always grab it in your fingers because you have a little bit of extra whip doing that and you also have control over the head of the hammer. Well, I have the bat in my fingers, now I have a little bit more control over where that where that barrel is going. And, and the key to being a good hitter, a consistent hitter, is I've got to know where this barrel is at all times. And if I have the bat back in my palm, I mean, I'm just kind of guessing. Whereas if I have it in my fingers, I've got a lot more control and I can, I can you know, manipulate the barrel if I need to mid swing. And then the last thing, the last reason I like to have the, the, the grip like this is because, and we'll talk about this in more depth here in a second, but as you, the, to me, the main goal in hitting is to keep this barrel moving to the pitcher, moving to the middle of the field as long as possible. All right, so, but that, and, and the reason for that is because in order to consistently hit the ball in the sweet spot, I've got to have the sweet spot of this bat lined up behind the ball as long as possible. And since there is a timing component to hitting, I'm not always going to be perfectly on time. So I've got to be able to keep this barrel behind the ball if I'm a little bit early. Like if I'm perfectly on time, it doesn't really matter. Like if I'm catching it right there and I'm right on time, great. But if, I, if the guy throws me a change up or if I'm a little bit out in front and that barrel starts to creep to the pull side, I'm going to end up making an out because I'll hit that rollover ground ball that everybody hates. And so I try to get guys, I want to move this barrel to the middle of the field as long as possible. Now you'll see if I have this bat gripped way back in my palm like this and I get to a point right here, well, there's a lot of tension already in my elbow and in my wrist. And if I try to keep that barrel moving forward, there, the, the, because of the way your body is built and because of this tension, the natural tendency is going to be to let that barrel creep back over you know, to the pull side. So if I get right here, and I get to where I feel that tension and then I've moved the bat to my fingers, now I have almost an unlimited ability to move that barrel to the middle of the field. So that's the last reason I really like to have the, barrel, or the, the bat gripped in the fingers with these knocking knuckles lined up and not back here with a gorilla grip or a over-rotated grip is what I call it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lance Berkman's Hitting From All Angles.